everybody, it's AJ from Disney Food Blog, and today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different on the channel. I am going to talk about the best things I've eaten so far in Disney World this year. I've been to Disney World many times already this year, and I thought it would be fun to share with you what my favorites have been from around the world thus far in January, February, and March. And if you like this video, let us know. We'll do this, uh, we'll do this more often. We can kind of share with you the best of the best that we've eaten in the past few weeks or past few months, and maybe that'll help inform your planning. Let us know in the comments what you think. Okay, let's start out with Hollywood Brown Derby Lounge. I was over at Brown Derby Lounge, which is in Hollywood Studios. Uh, this is a location that is next to the regular Brown Derby restaurant. You don't need a reservation, it doesn't take reservations. It's a lounge or a bar and it's outside. So the seating is primarily outside at this one. So what I had here, and you're gonna have sort of tapas or small plates primarily, is the andouille crusted shrimp at the lounge. So this is andouille crusted shrimp with a cheese grits as a base. This is amazing, and I know the andouille crusted shrimp has been around for a while. I remember having it as a starter in Hollywood Brown Derby restaurant a long, long time ago. So I know this isn't brand new to the a brand new concept to the restaurant. But this dish at the lounge was amazing. I couldn't even believe it. I loved it. The ratio of shrimp to andouille crust is excellent. In the restaurant, I had kind of a jumbo shrimp with an andouille crust, and there was a little bit, not quite enough of that flavorful crust for me. So with these smaller shrimp, it was great. And of course, those cheese grits are killer. So the, the price here is a little high. It's gonna be $15 for this dish. So I understand if you're not willing to kind of take that for the amount of food you actually get here. But but really the quality is amazing. So if you're a shrimp fan, if you like really, really flavorful sort of appetizer dishes, this is for you for sure. Next up, we're gonna head over to the Edison in Disney Springs. Now, there wasn't anything at the Edison that I really adored or loved except for this, and this is their lollipop tree. It's really an interesting little dessert. It's cheesecake pops that are all arranged on a lollipop tree. And some of you might recognize this from uh, David Burke's old restaurant. David Burke is the consulting chef for the Edison in LA and in Orlando. So the lollipop tree is actually shipped from his kind of food studios over to the Edison. So that's why sometimes they don't have it on the menu because they can't actually get it there. But anyway, it's a little cheesecake pops and then it's served with a bubblegum whipped cream, which I know it sounds so weird and I really didn't want to like it, but the flavor is so different. It's not over the top. It's not fake. It's not a fake flavor. It's just really, it was really good if you just take it in moderation. <laughs> Don't have too much of it. Um, but those cheesecake pops were amazing. And this was the standout for me at the Edison. All right, next up, I'm going to go to Sanaa. And everybody knows Sanaa is a great restaurant. And I've been hearing from some of my readers and viewers that it had been going downhill, but I did not have that experience. When I went and checked it out, I ordered a lot of stuff. It was all still excellent. So the Sanaa bread service, which you guys know is amazing. Um, a lot of you love it. It's a cult favorite. So the bread service is served with multiple different breads, three kinds of naan. Um, with three butters, a regular, just regular butter, garlic butter, and sriracha butter, which was crazy good, so good. There's also paneer parantha, which is kind of a cheese flatbread with cheese baked into the dough. There's an onion colcha, so there's a lot of really good breads that you get served here. Um, but the killer here is the accompaniments. Now you can get three accompaniments or you can order all of them, and we always recommend to order all of them. Included here are the garlic pickle, corey coriander chutney, spicy jalapeno lime pickle, red chili sambal, red pepper hummus, tomato date jam, tamarind chutney, mango chutney, and cucumber rayada. Really, really good stuff, you guys. Good for vegetarians, actually pretty healthy for you. And don't forget that great Sanaa view that you get to watch those animals walking around and, and checking you out through the window while you're checking them out. It's a lot of fun. Um, so this was a great dish, of course. It's been around for a while, but it's always recommended. And the other thing I had at Sanaa that was on my best of 2018 list so far was the candy bar. Now this dessert, I don't usually get candy bar desserts in restaurants because they're usually just kind of boring, bland, dry cake that they've put some bad mousse between, I don't know. But this one was killer. This is really like a candy bar. It's really like a Snickers bar. I loved it, I adored it. You gotta check out this candy bar if you are at Sanaa. You've got chai cream, pistachio crumb, cashew. I don't even know, there's just awesome stuff in here. It's a really good dessert, so definitely check it out. 
Okay, and the next few things you might have heard about on the channel already, but I have to tell you about them again because they really are on my best of 2018 list so far. That House of Blues bourbon whiskey bread pudding is amazing really, really amazing and is a standout for me. And I don't really go to House of Blues that often because I don't love the food there, but this dessert is making me go more and more often. So this is a bread pudding and there's sort of a caramel whiskey sauce on top. And then they've got that thing called whiskey butter on top. And whiskey butter is about as close to butter as you can get, but still be a frosting. It's seriously amazing. I, I always ask them to bring me an extra little bowl of the whiskey butter so I can have more of it. This is a killer dessert, you guys. It's very, very worth going over to House of Blues to get this. Next on the list of my favorites so far in 2018 is that Refreshment Port Poutine um, in Epcot. That poutine over at Refreshment Port, which is basically just Disney French fries and some cheese curds. And then they throw that Le Cellier cheddar cheese bacon soup on top. And it's amazing. I know. I know. I, I can't help it. It's just so good. So I hope you get over there and try that out as well. And then finally, that rose gold cupcake. The one that I love is the one from Epcot, the original, the one at Sunshine Seasons. It really is very, very good. And you guys know me, you know I love my frosting and the frosting to cake ratio here is very high. So that's kind of why I love it because they have a really good frosting here. They have a good cake, a good kind of Nutella and vanilla marble swirl cake. I don't really care that much about the rose gold situation. I certainly don't care about the mini ears, but I really, really like that frosting and I really, really like that cake. So this is a good one to go check out if you are a cupcake fan. Again, don't forget to check out our cupcake challenge this is part of our cupcake challenge in uh, Walt Disney World. So you got to go check that out as well. All right. Well, I hope you like this video. Again, we're doing something a little bit new. Um, I always like to tell you guys about the stuff I am loving in the parks and the things I'm loving in, in all the restaurants. So I hope you enjoyed. Please let us know in the comments if you'd like us to do more videos like this or if you'd like us to start doing other types of things. Let us know. We always are open to your suggestions and your requests. Thanks for watching. Definitely give us a like and a subscribe. We're so excited about how much you guys are liking the videos and, and watching the channel. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.